Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As we'll see there, the US 30 actually dropped down ever so slightly yesterday and just about came down to uh, its previous broken resistance around about 16.969. The markets were unable to find any catalyst to help them break up uh, higher, uh, following on from last Thursday's non farm payrolls figure. US earnings season pretty much kicks off uh, today with Alcoa and um, I believe like uh, Samsung, uh, the tech giant over in Korea, one of the largest companies to report, actually was uh, below analyst forecast as well, coming in at around about uh, $7.2 billion. Uh, they were expecting something a little bit more. Uh, I think profit was down about 25% in, in total, so uh, hopefully that's not a real precursor as to how some of the other uh, giant firms are going to be reporting, but nevertheless, most global markets have actually drifted down slightly over the last couple of sessions. Looking at the UK 100, it came off uh, more staunchly there yesterday, got quite close to 21 period SMA. We're now slightly uh, kind of trading below, uh, sorry, just above the moving averages, but in between two ranges. So potential resistance 68.74, potential support 67.74. And uh, as I said, for as long as we stay above those moving averages, we should still be okay. If we start to trade below that, then uh, support may be retested again. Looking at Japan 225, it came off yesterday as well, bounced off that 21 period SMA. Uh, and now it looks like I should probably draw in this next level of uh, potential resistance, which has not been able to stay above 15488. Uh, interestingly, it did bounce off that level. Uh, it did uh, break down below these, but closed above it before. So the 21 period SMA does look important for Japan 225. Looking at US dollar Japanese yen, uh, it's resuming its slide there again. And we talked about this yesterday. The dollar spike higher might be short lived. And uh, we have seen, uh, you know, especially against the euro as well, uh, the dollar weaken. Um, US Treasury bonds came off a lot uh, yesterday, pretty much back to the same levels that we saw before non farm payrolls came out. So it looks to be that that dollar jump was quite fleeting. Uh, next potential support is at 101 spot 35 for dollar yen. Looking at Crude West Texas, uh, it's still dropping, getting closer to 103. Um, a dollar weakness, obviously, yesterday, uh, adding pressure to crude oil. Uh, supply basically has not been too badly impacted by Ukraine and Iraq, so that is crude coming back down to earth now. Looking at gold, uh, gold again still bouncing along this level, that's why I still think this is a ascending triangle formation. Uh, and each time we dip below here, we always close above it. So let's see if that continues today, because literally when you've got a ascending triangle formation, it's going to break out one end or, or the other. So we should uh, just wait to see what happens right there. But there's definitely buying interest all the way along the bottom of that triangle. Um, that's not uh, dollar yen. We should be looking at uh, euro dollar uh, bouncing off potential support at one spot 35.68 yesterday. Doesn't look much in the daily candle. Looks a lot more on the uh, on the intraday charts on my other screen right here. Uh, but we are now kind of bouncing around the 21 period SMA. Um, if we do continue to see movement higher, I know today's candle already is not showing much confidence, but if we do, then potential resistance does remain at one spot 36.45. On the other side to that, one spot 35.68 has been unbroken since um, you know the start of June right there. And GBP USD hasn't really done a huge amount since uh, it broke 171. Uh, probably are now looking at a new potential short term resistance, one spot 71.84. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and draw that on there just now. And just add that on like so. And uh, if we do get a drift lower, expect one spot 70.48 to still be the potential support level. Um, Keep your eye on the calendar for industrial production today. Not much else of economic data. It's mainly uh, earnings you will be looking at now for direction. And then tomorrow we've got Chinese CPI and PPI to look forward to, plus the um, crude petroleum sales, which will be a catalyst for crude oil one direction or the other. And we have to go into Thursday before we get into anything decent. Matter of fact, still nothing really that exciting, but you've got uh, China trade uh, details, UK trade balance, and US jobless claims. Um, all due on Thursday there. So not a huge amount of macro economic data. Uh, just keep your eye on the US earnings for the direction of uh, indices next. Keep your eye on the chart forum and make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.